Hello, hello, Tyler Bryden here, CEO and co-founder of Speak AI. I hope everything is going well. Today, a very exciting release at Speak, something that we've been working on for quite a bit and really opens up endless possibilities to streamline your work, automate your work, unlock these incredible efficiency gains, and do some really personalized, complex things within the application. And we're calling this speak automation so today we're introducing speak automation it's just the first version of it there is a lot to come and we're going to be sharing some ways that you can request the kind of automations that you want to build into speak so uh, i'll detail that a little bit at the end of this video and super excited to hear what you're looking for and what you want to automate in speak without further ado let's jump into a walkthrough of speak automation and how you can set this up so if you are logging in to speak today, if you don't have an account, that's okay. You can sign up for 14 day trial. You can go ahead and sign up. I'll drop the link in the video. And if you are already, we love you being a speak user and you can go in and if I scroll down below, I have this automation option. So this is completely new. It's under the do more section at the bottom of the bar. And then I can click that. I can open it and you're going to see, I haven't actually created an automation yet in this account. So I'm going to go ahead and create my first automation. And in this case, what I want to do is I just want to summarize uh, this video into a bullet point list. I'm going to just duplicate that for the description. You can run a lot of automations at once. I recommend titling it and labeling it the best way you can. And for now, there is this trigger action mechanism that allows you to do all these incredible things within Speak. The first trigger that we've released today is folders. So that's going to be the option that you can pick. And I can then go and select either one or multiple folders that then becomes the trigger point for the action to run, the automation to run. And in this case, you might think, okay, what is a use case or an example of this? Maybe as an example, you have calls flowing into Speak. One of the type of calls flowing into Speak are sales calls. Another are customer service calls. Another are product research or customer research calls you're doing. Maybe each one of those calls is flowing into a different folder and you actually wanna run a different analysis and report based on the type of call that it is. So using this automation, using this folder trigger, you can say, hey, every single time a file goes into this folder specifically, I wanna run this specific analysis, this report. And so in this case, I've got a bunch of folders that I can choose from. I'm just gonna go demo media for this option here today. And then the action is then running after that trigger is fired, after that condition is met. And in this case, the actual action is the magic prompt. And this is where you've maybe seen a bit of the magic prompt functionality in Speak before. And what you can do is then select the assistant type. In this case, I'm gonna go just general because I'm really just looking for a summary. And then I've got a wonderful opportunity to either select from pre-suggested prompts that will produce reports and outputs through the large language models, or I can write my own custom prompt and that, and that will fire every single time one of the triggers fires and that condition is matched. So in this case, I've got a pre-selected prompt, summarize the main discussion points in a concise bullet point list. And now I'm going to create that automation. You can see the details of it. I can hit actions, I can deactivate it, I can then activate it, I can edit this, and then I can delete it. I can create as many automations as I want right now, which is super exciting. And now the next step that I want to do is actually show you how this works in production once your automation is live. So I'm gonna hit capture and I'm going to drop a collision conference video that I did and I'm going to make sure that I actually assign it to that demo media folder, which is the trigger mechanism that I selected. And now it is processing, it's uploading the video, and it will wait for the transcription and the analysis to be ready before then firing. I've got a nice big balance on speak. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to see in the demo a minute and 44. And so we're gonna see that it's preparing the transcription of the video. As soon as that transcription is ready, we're gonna see the automation run. It's going to run this prompt that we've set up in the automation page. And then we're gonna be able to see an output there. For the output in the current automation, because it's a magic prompt, we can see the magic prompt. It's going to be in the history 
area here. So these are all the prompts and analysis and reports that we've run through many de demos and calls and, and videos and all that. So it's starting to pile up. You can visit this at any time. And there's also going to be notifications and ways for you to realize that your automation has run. And as we build out more capabilities, more triggers and actions, we really think there are some incredible opportunities here. So you can now see that the transcript is ready. The analysis has run as steady speak always does. And there we go. We can see that the prompt has come back all automatically based off that automation. A nice summary of the collision conference 2022, not 2023, but that was great too. And if I go back to the automation tab, we can see that it has run. Now at the start of the video, I said, hey, if you have some interest in automation in speak, we'd love to hear. We have a form here that you can fill out just a couple of details about what the trigger would be, the action, why is this valuable to you, how often you would use it. And really, we want to prioritize this because we think it's an incredible combination of the AI, of the interaction with language data in speak, and then also some amazing automation capabilities to make your life and work easier. We're going to go as quick as we possibly can to release these things for you and always love your feedback, always love hearing from you. We truly value and cherish it a lot. And so with that being said, this is the end of the speak automation announcement video. We hope you love this and see as many possibilities as we do. We appreciate you being a supporter of Speak AI. Thank you very much for checking this video out and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.